Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the differentiation of exponential function. Exponential functions have the form of f of x e raised to the power x where e is the base. The base is always positive number which is not equal to 1. The function y is equal to e raised to the power x is often referred to as simply the exponential function. Then the derivative of a natural exponential function is equal to the original natural exponential function times the derivative of the exponent. As per natural exponential function rule of differentiation, if y is equal to e raised to the power x, where x is the differentiable function, then the derivative d by dx is equal to e raised to the power x into d dx of or derivative of a given function x. So dy dx is equal to e raised to the power x into derivative of x, the derivative of x which is equal to 1. So e raised to the power x into 1 which is equal to e raised to the power x. So if your function is e raised to the power x, then its derivative is also equal to the e raised to the power x. In short, the derivative of a natural exponential function is equal to the original natural exponential function times the derivative of exponent. So here the original natural exponential function is e raised to the power x and the derivative of exponent x which is equal to 1. That's why 1 into e raised to the power x which is equal to e raised to the power x. Consider one example that is y is equal to e raised to the power x square. Then the derivative of a given function e raised to the power x square that is dy dx is equal to the given original exponential function that is e raised to the power x square into the derivative of x square. So here the derivative of x square is equal to 2x. So the original original exponential function is e raised to the power x square. So e raised to the power x square into 2x which is equal to 2x into e raised to the power x square. Another example that is y is equal to e raised to the power 2x plus 1. Then the derivative dy dx is equal to the original exponential function that is e raised to the power 2x plus 1 into the derivative of 2x plus 1. Then the derivative of 2x plus 1 which is equal to 2 and the original function, e, e, uh, original exponential function e raised to the power 2x plus 1. Then if you multiply these two, that is 2 into e raised to the power 2x plus 1 which is equal to 2 into e raised to the power 2x plus 1. Take another example, y is equal to 3x into e raised to the power 2x. So here we have a two function that is 3x and another one is e raised to the power 2x. So we can use here the product rule of differentiation. So in this case, the derivative we are already discussed while we were discussing about the product rule of differentiation. Then the derivative of a given function dy dx is equal to, then the first term that is 3x into the derivative of a e raised to the power 2x that is the second term plus the second term into that is e raised to the power 2x into the derivative of the first term that is 3x. So here 3x into the derivative of a e raised to the power 2x which is equal to 2 into e raised to the power 2x plus e raised to the power 2x into the derivative of 3x which is equal to 3. So 3x into 2 raised to the power 2 into e raised to the power 2x which is equal to 3x 2e raised to the power 2x plus then 3 into e raised to the power 2x that is 3e raised to the power 2x. In this case we have a common term that is 3e raised to the power 2x in both sides. So we can take it as a common factor that is 3 into e raised to the power 2x into then what is remaining here which is 2x plus 1. So the derivative of a given function 3x e raised to the power 2x is equal to 3 e raised to the power 2x into 2x plus 1. Consider another example that is y is equal to e raised to the power 5x minus 1 divided by e raised to the power 5x plus 1. 
Here we can use the quotient rule of differentiation because the given function is a quotient form. So the derivative of a given function that is dy dx is equal to the denominator into that is e raised to the power 5x plus 1 into the derivative of a numerator that is e raised to the power 5x minus 1 minus the numerator that is e raised to the power 5x minus 1 into the derivative of a denominator that is d dx of e raised to the power 5x plus 1 whole divided by the denominator squared that is e raised to the power 5x plus 1 squared which is equal to e raised to the power 5x plus 1 into the derivative of a e raised to the power 5x minus 1 which is equal to 5 e raised to the power 5x minus then e raised to the power 5x minus 1 into the derivative of the e raised to the power 5x plus 1 which is equal to 5 e raised to the power 5x all divided by the denominator squared. So e raised to the power 5x plus 1 multiplied with the 5 e raised to the power 5x then it will become 5 e raised to the power 10x plus 5 e raised to the power 5x minus then e raised to the power 5x minus 1 into 5 e raised to the power 5x which is equal to 5 e raised to the power 10x minus 5 e raised to the power 5x. Then whole divided by the denominator squared that is e raised to the power 5x plus 1 squared. If you open the brackets then it will become 5 e raised to the power 10x plus 5 e raised to the power 5x minus 5 e raised to the power 10x plus 5 e raised to the power 5x whole divided by denominator squared. So in this case 5 e raised to the power 10x minus 5 e raised to the power 10x will be cancelled. Then the remaining things are here 5 e raised to the power 5x plus 5 e raised to the power 5x which is equal to 10 e raised to the power 5x whole divided by the denominator square that is e raised to the power 5x plus 1 squared. Thus the given function e raised to the power 5x minus 1 divided by e raised to the power 5x plus 1 by applying the quotient rule and by considering the differentiation of an Nat, uh, given exponential function rule then the derivative is equal to 10 e raised to the power 5x divided by e raised to the power 5x plus 1 squared. Thus the derivative of a natural exponential function is equal to the original natural exponential function times the derivative of exponent. I hope you are clear about the differentiation of exponential function. Practice some more examples for the better understanding of this rule of differentiation. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.